Hello guys, so um, this is Amel. I'm so excited today as usual. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to print out a float. So a uh, float is just like a decimal, but it only has like six, uh, six values or six numbers of precision after the point, after decimal point. So as usual, we're going to do that data for all the data and that text for all the instructions. And then uh, we're going to declare a float. So my, my float is going to be, uh, the name is going to be pi, colon, uh, as usual, because you need colon, and then the type is going to be float. Yeah, very clever, float, float. So now um, the value is 3.14. Yeah, that's the way, that's what I remember. When you say pi, I remember 3.14. So now... How do we print it? Out? How do we print that out? Well, it's very similar. So we say load immediate dollar sign v zero, and then the code to print out a float is two. For integers, it's is one, as you remember in last tutorial. For integer is one, but for floats is two. And in the floats are different than integers. Floats they go to code processor one. So instead of saying load word, this is for integers, but for for uh, a float, you have to load it from code processor one, or to code processor one, because here code processor one has all the all the registers for for floats. So load word C one. So or load load word code processor one. So let me align this and fix it up a little bit, right here. So you always have to put the value in dollar sign F12. If you don't put it in F12, it's not gonna work. And then um from pi so now right here it says okay system prepare because now i want you to bring a to bring a float now you have to print out a float and here um f from random access memory load the value in pi it's a random access memory load it or put it in f12 and you always have to put in f12 and instead of saying load word, you say load word code processor one, because F12 is not here. F12 is in code processor one, right there. So now we can say, okay, now we can say, okay system, now you know what you have to do, so do it and save it. Run, assemble, and execute. Voila, 3.14. So congratulations guys, now you know how to print out an integer. So in the next tutorial, I will show you about doubles. So uh, see you next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, and don't forget, go to smartvania.com. <laughs> okay, uh, see you and take care. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial.